Hello everyone, this is Miss Nadia from the Early on Child and Family Centers operated by the Social Enterprise for Canada. Did you know that children are born ready to learn? When they participate in science activities, it nurtures their curiosity, it assists them, it assists them in their brain development, it also helps them to grow big ideas and understand some fundamental concepts. Today I will be doing a very simple science experiment with you that you can try at your homes with your little ones. For this experiment you will need one cup of salt and one fourth cup of popcorn kernels and a mason jar. And that's all. I have already measured one cup of salt in this jar. You can encourage your kids to do the measurement and pour the salt in the container. And they can also measure the popcorn kernels, which is one fourth cup. The measurements does not have to be, they do not have to be accurate. So I've already uh, put the salt in the jar. The next step is I will be adding the popcorn kernels in the jar. So let's pour them in. Now I'm going to close the lid. Here at this point, you can ask your kids, what do they think will happen to the popcorn kernels and the salt? What is their hypothesis? Hypothesis is a very uh, important step um, while doing any science experiment. We make a hypothesis, it's just basically a guess what we think will happen based on our understanding and, our, um, and based on our knowledge um, when we will do that science experiment. And then later on we test that hypothesis. Okay, so I have added the popcorn kernels to the salt the next thing what I will do is I will shake them together and you can ask the kids what do you think will happen when we shake the popcorn kernels and the salt together do you think they will mix or do you think they will stay separate so let's mix them well let's see they can roll it they can shake it okay now you see they are pretty much mixed Okay, but let me show you something interesting that I will do and then we will see what, what will be the change in the kernels and the salt and we will see if they still stay, uh, stay mixed together or will they be sorted. So what I'm going to do is while holding the jar in one hand, I will start tapping the jar. Kids will love doing this step, uh, this step of the experiment. Oh, what I'm noticing is that the popcorn kernels have started coming to the top. I'm going to tap them from the bottom. Let's see. Tap it to the top. This is so much fun to do. You see? That's interesting. So if you guys can see, as I was tapping the jar, the popcorn kernel started um, coming to the top while the salt started settling down. You may ask your kids, why do you think that happened? Is it because the salt is heavy or light or what other reason comes in their mind okay so let's do a little bit more tapping and now you can see like you can hardly see any kernels at the bottom and all of them have come to the top let's do it one more time let's shake it 
let's shake it let's mix them together kids love repeating this experiment again and again and then when they tap it did you see now all the kernels are at the top that's so interesting so what happens is because of the density of salt salt stays at the bottom while the popcorn kernels come to the top and no matter what you will do they will always come to the top with the salt i hope you liked the experiment that we did today if you're interested in more activities just like this one uh, please visit our website earlyonsec.com sign up for our virtual programs and enjoy these activities and enjoy these programs you can also follow us on our social media pages on facebook and instagram as well as twitter at earlyonsec i hope to see you there soon take care